All right, you got your arms crossed over your chest. I'm going to walk in here. Turn the left shoulder under the chin. Good full shoulder turn. Now you're going to bump into that front leg. See how I squat and bump, not unwinding at all from the top. So that is the first move is in the transition phase of the swing is you're going to squat and push into the ground. Now you're going to unwind from the bottom. Don't move the shoulders. I'm moving my shoulders a little. So you're unwinding from the bottom, trying not to move the shoulders. Now you're going to work the right shoulder down, under, and through. And that, that front leg is going to straighten. See how mine's straight? Yours isn't. You're, you're already swaying. You're, you're sliding there. That knee should never go past the outside of the foot. So you're going to start to turn and extend that front leg. So here we are, you're going to turn your shoulders, point the shaft about one foot in front of the ball as you turn back. You're going to squat down into that front leg, not unwinding. Now you're going to start to unwind from the bottom, and then you're going to start to unwind from the top. Your knees are going to touch, come together, and then you're going to come up out of it into a full follow through. All right, the second exercise is you're going to hit, you're going to take the compression board, you're going to put the ball at one, the back of the ball, and you've got to hit balls with the handle leaning forward without touching the back of this board. So you've got to keep the right wrist from uncocking. You're going to extend, but you see that right wrist has to maintain a hinge. So we've got to have a bent right wrist and a flat left wrist with a forward leaning shaft. And you're going to work on that drill. All right. 